Hello everybody, what's up? So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, uh, install Kali Linux on uh, Windows operating system. So uh, as you remember, uh, I already created a separate video on uh, install Kali Linux 2023 on uh, VirtualBox. So in this video, I will install Kali Linux on uh, Windows system so i will uh, put the link in the description uh, i will put the link in the description uh, for installation of kali linux uh, in virtualbox so if you want to uh, set up kali linux on virtualbox watch uh, that uh, video so first thing uh, that we will do we will check the prerequisites to install the wsl Two on our operating system so first we will check the version and the build of uh, Windows operating system for that uh, press the Windows button and uh, press R and uh, here you will type win var and uh, when you click OK so as you can see I'm uh, uh, okay with the version so kindly uh, cross check uh, these informations so if you eligible so you can uh, install Kali Linux on uh, Windows operating system so let's get started first we will uh, open our PowerShell as uh, administrator and uh, here we will perform some commands and uh, I will provide all the commands in the description so just simply copy and paste all the commands so let me just copy my first command to enable the uh, subsystem of uh, Windows. So let me just copy and uh, paste it enter. So it's enabling the uh, subsystem, uh, Microsoft subsystem for Linux. So now we will restart our system. Uh, in this video, we will around three times uh, restart our system to uh, execute so in this video uh, I will restart my system uh, for around three times so you will do the same thing okay once you restart your system it's uh, time to execute the second command so open your PowerShell once again and uh, and here uh, we will run the second command do uh, just do what I'm doing just copy this command okay now we will execute our second command okay it's uh, successfully completed now uh, we will just copy this third command and paste here hit enter okay everything is perfect now we will restart once more so just click on your Windows button and uh, power and here we will restart our system okay once uh, everything is set up and uh, you restart your system now it's time to install the kernel package for WSL2 for that we will just copy this URL and uh, okay now it's time to install the kernel package for that we will just click on this link and it will install the and it will install the WSL uh, package once it's done open okay once the setup uh, has been completed just click on the finish button now uh, we will set default uh, WSL so open your PowerShell once again let me just increase my font size okay and uh, now we will just set our WSL as default copy okay just hit enter as you can see the operation complete successfully so let me just check the version of uh, WSL now you can see we have uh, WSL2 installed on our system just minimize it now we will install the Kali Linux uh, as an app so open your Microsoft Store open your Microsoft Store here we will search for Kali Linux and here you go this is our Kali Linux 
app so i will just hit get and i'll get this app okay once you uh, download this app just close this and uh, here we will search kali kali linux so uh, when you open your kali linux app uh, first you will create uh, an account like a username or password and uh, after that here we will uh, execute our further commands so now we will move to our further commands so let me just copy and paste all the commands here enter your password i think i entered a wrong password so let me just correct this okay it will take a while to update or upgrade our system so now it's time to go to the further commands now we will install the kali linux desktop environment so here i will paste the command and here i will enter my root password okay in my case uh, it's already installed but in your case it will take uh, uh, one minute for installation so now it's time to install uh, xrdp that uh, we will use to connect with uh, uh, Kali Linux and uh, in my case uh, it will al already downloaded as you can see so the both installation process is already installed now we will start the service of uh, XRDP that uh, uh, which we just installed so it's already up and running so now we can access uh, this Kali Linux to IP and uh, we will use our IP in our remote desktop connection. So for IP, you will type IP AWDR and uh, here we will open our remote desktop connection. So here is our remote desktop connection. Here we will enter our IP address and uh, connect. When you will uh, reach on that page, just uh, enter your credentials and uh, when you click ok ok so finally we successfully installed kali linux on uh, windows operating system but it's uh, not like uh, other applications uh, for this uh, installation we always use the rdp connection so here let's just uh, check the release and the uh, version that we just installed so type cat slash etc slash os dot dash release so it will give you the all information about your machine you can see the version is 23.3 and uh, the release and the version uh, you can see on your own so this is uh, the way that you can uh, install kali linux on your windows operating system and these are all the apps or the store uh, which you can use when you start your journey of uh, ethical hacking. So uh, that's it for this video. Hope you guys something learn, new learn about Kali Linux. So if you just want to log out just click on logout and uh, you will log out from your machine. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching.